Today we're opening the least anticipated Yu-Gi-Oh set, I think ever. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video, I think. Today we have the new Hidden Arsenal Chapter 1, which first of all, is just way too large for the screen. But the thing with this product is nobody cares about it. I have not heard anyone talk about this product upcoming except to say, man, I'm not excited about that product. And that's kind of how I feel about it. I'm not really excited about it. But we're giving it a chance today. We're going to open this sucker up. We're going to see if we were wrong. Should we have been excited about Hidden Arsenal Chapter 1? We're about to find out. The giveaway for this video is every single pull in here, so you guys better be hoping this is exciting because you guys get to win all of it. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know your favorite card from this set. I think there's a couple of cool ones. Maybe? Okay, so they come in these weird sports card boxes, which it seems like every time they print a set in this format, the set is really boring. I can't think of a single time where they've made something in this kind of box and like we've been like, man, that is a fire set. We got to buy that. And it seems like that's the case here. Not only is it usually bad sets they're reprinting, but inside there's nothing. Look at this. There's nothing in this box. There is nothing. Look at that. That's everything. That's all of it. So first of all, you get this dice, which is definitely the coolest thing about these boxes. It's very cool. I really like the dice. I think those are an A+. But then you get one pack and a promo. Is that right? One pack? No, two packs. Okay. I was like, oh my gosh, this is even worse than normal. Then they have this large mag. Okay. They didn't have this before. So releasing the dragons. Okay. This looks actually kind of interesting. Let's see what the promo is. Dragoonity. I don't know how to say this, but it's a Dragoonity card. Uh, Moto would be excited about that one, but I don't know <laughs> if anybody else is. So let's start with our two packs. I guess there's going to be 16 total packs in this video. That's it. Not a lot of packs to open. So it's a little bit strange. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how I feel yet. So far, Berserker Crush. I think we have that DT rarity in here. So let's see. Naturias are all over the place. Ally of Justice. Ally of Justice. Okay. Just so many cards or like archetypes that are just boring to me because I remember when I used to buy these mystery boxes, people would have guaranteed foils and they would always put the hidden arsenal super rares in them. And it was kind of like a way to cheat yourself to get a foil. So it was always left a bad taste in my mouth, Hidden Arsenal foil. So that's another reason I kind of don't like Hidden Arsenal. Goyo Guardian has a common. That's pretty cool. Dragoonity Knight. I never know how to say this guy, but the uh, we got the Bulg. Okay, so uh, that's a DT rarity. Um, is it just me or can you not really see it on camera? There it is. Okay, there's a little bit. It doesn't pop like the, the original DT rarity. Oh, and a Dark Magician. <laughs> I, I heard that they put Dark Magician and Blue Eyes in this set for, like, no reason, which is pretty normal for them. I guess that's kind of fun. Dark Magician, it's kind of the, it's the tablet rarity, which most people don't really like. Ally of Justice, Decisive Armor. Is it three per box? Oh, no, it's four. Okay, and a Swallow's Nest. If you're trying to play those Harpies, please just don't do that. All right, and a Miss Valley and a lot more commons. I don't understand why they put a million commons in these. Okay, so uh, I guess that was cool. Um, we got Dark Magician. That's definitely a, a definitely one of the cards we want. I think I heard Cyber Dragons in here as well. So that could be pretty cool. Ally of Justice. Uh, I'm just, I'm honestly just not too excited, guys. I want you guys to let me know. Were you excited about this in the comments? And maybe you'll get excited after this. The fabled Ganashia. That looks like a uh, Garnesia Elephantus gone cartoon or something. That's like Toon Garnesia. Stratos, that's actually a good common reprint. That's actually pretty cool. Miss Valley Shaman. We got a fabled Rajin. Okay. Barrel Dragon. <laughs> Why is Barrel Dragon in here? This is weird. There's a bunch of just like random DM cards. Uh, oh, we, oh, oh, Dark Paladin. Oh, that's actually sick. And Ally of Justice Nullfire. Wait. Why is this card damaged? Okay, at least it's not the Dark Paladin. Okay, I'm not going to lie. That looks pretty cool. That looks pretty good. Um, That looks a lot better than the Dark Magician for sure. Okay, so uh, maybe it's winning me over a little bit. I still don't like the format. You guys know I don't really like the Collector Rare format, but I, I really don't like this format with like two packs. And like, it's, I'm a pack opener. So if, if I don't get to open a lot of packs, like I just open two packs, that's the whole thing. It's just like, uh, you know, it's just not that great. Oh, look. Okay, we got ourselves another die. Are they? Oh, whoa, what is that? That's pretty cool. We've got a Power Tool Dragon, which... Does this need a reprint? Do people use this? I guess they do, but that secret rare definitely looks really good on that. So I'll give them that. The secret rares, they're looking pretty fire. I'll give them that. Okay, Berserker Crush. So, so far, I'm going to give my rating for this set at the end, what I think it is out of 10, because I was expecting like a zero. So we'll see if it can up from there at all. Medium, ally. Oh, the blue eyes and a Nidus. Whoa, okay. Go format reprint. This is actually a cool rarity. I mean, it's a cool rarity for Nidus Salen. I think the high rarity for it was like super and champion pack. So this is definitely an upgrade for some people. Blue eyes, white dragon. Brianak. Wait, this already had DT rarity. Why did they do this? No, my DT version. 
<laughs> it now has another version of it in the Churia Pumpkin. Okay, that is kind of disappointing because I already have this version. Then we have the Blue Eyes White Dragon tablet art. That's pretty cool. That was a really good pack, actually, in terms of, like, nostalgia. Oh, that's a good card as well. That's a very good common card. Okay, that was a pretty good pack. I'm wondering, were, were those cards ever even in Hidden Arsenal? Why are they in here? I'm so confused. I mean, I guess they were like, Hidden Arsenal by itself sucks. We got to put something interesting in there. And I guess they did. They put some cool stuff in there. Gantala, Hydrangea, Dust Tornado, Rose Whip, Dragonfly. We got the Ally of Justice Colossus, Ladybug. Oh, it, it does that every time. The first two, they stick to the card. Barrel Dragon, and there's the Cyber Dragon. That looks pretty cool. Man, the rarity is cool, but you can't really... It looks weird. Like, you look like this. It just looks like an ultra rare. And then you, you finally have to, like, flash it. But it's only right when the light's on. You see, like, the top, you can't see it, but the bottom, you can. This is such a weird rarity. It's kind of cool, but it's weird. I, I don't know how I feel about it. All right, some fabled cards. So, it seems like every single pack, you're getting some sort of DM card. Okay, I cut open all six boxes so it doesn't take so long, uh, you know, waiting around. So let's start with this, and we're going to test that theory about the DM cards being in the front. We have... Oh, that's actually a good one. A Formula Synchron Secret Rare. That's pretty sick, actually. And then another die. I'm liking these die. These are pretty cool. You guys can win those. You, can, you guys can win all this stuff, actually. Just make sure you guys enter that giveaway, like the video, be subscribed. And, of course, let me know what you think about Hidden Arsenal. It's a very... Okay, I'm going to try not to rux and special this time. It's very difficult on this set. They, like, stick together. The Landos, the Blastoise Os. We got the Karibo. People at Luri. Shaman. There's the Garnesia. Wait, here it is. It's sticking. Book of Moon. See, look. Wait, why do we need another Book of Moon? There's a million prints of this, but we, we got another DM card. Let's see if the next one is. Dragoonity Ducks. Okay, so that's not... That's Hidden Arsenal, I think. Trishula. Okay, that already had this print as well. It's weird that they're printing these again in the same rarity. Very weird, because it's a unique rarity, but now, like, they have double prints of it? I don't know how I feel about that. Okay. So it doesn't look like... Maybe you get one DM card per pack? I don't know. Or maybe we're just randomly getting DM cards. We're not supposed to get them every single pack in the front. Okay, Primus. Pylum, Rose Whip, Stratos, good card, uh, Trident, Dragonfly, Mist Valley, Apex Avian, this card like tanked because it's no longer used, Dark Magician again, and okay, alright, so it was one DM card, so every time we've had one DM card it seems, at least one, next box, let's see what our promos can be, they're kind of exciting because I really don't know what they're going to be at this point, alright, this promo was hiding between these, I thought we didn't get one, we got... Another Dragoonity card. Is this a new card? It probably isn't. I don't I don't remember it, but... Oh, look, we got a clear die. That's actually pretty sweet, actually. Okay, next pack. It takes kind of a long time to open these, actually, because there's not a lot of packs, but there's a lot of packaging. All right. Cruise, let's go Javelin. Quarantine. We got the... Oh, don't, don't bring up Quarantine. Strawberry. Horn Needle. We got the... Uh, -la 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 -la. We got the Ladybug. We got the uh, Cherubuil. The Book of Moon again. Dark Paladin again. So wait, are we getting... Have we gotten, like, every DT rarity card? There's a Berserker Crush. Seems like we're getting a lot of the same cards again. I don't know how many different ones there are. Let's see. Let's see. All right, we have General Guntala, the Berserker Crush. Oh, wait, so can anything be DT rarity? That's what it seems like. The Leviathan, the Great Leviathan. Apex Avian again. Okay, the Gay Bolg. Gay Bolg. The Guy Bolg. That guy. Then we have Trishula, and we have... Str oh, Stratos! That's pretty awesome, actually. Okay, that's a good one for sure. Stratos, you can barely see it, but... Like, you literally can't see it on this card. What is going on? Guys, you see the sheen, but there's no... There's barely any dots! Where is... <laughs> I can't even see it in person. What in the world is this? <laughs> it's, like, barely on there. Okay, well, I, I guess... Maybe it's on the... Wait, wait. Did it get stuck to here? Okay. All right. Well, that's kind of weird. Um, <laughs> some of the DT rarity is more prominent than others. Some of the DT rarity is more prominent than others. Let's open the last four at the same time and see what promos we get. We have a deep sea or repetue. We've got a, it looks like a synchro card. Another deep sea repetue. I wonder how many different promos there are. We got another die. We got a lot of this one. Two more boxes with promos. Oh, the first time we got this, the arm dragon, the armored dragon. That's not redundant. 
another die, and the final box of this opening, and then we will open the rest of the packs because these boxes are very strange. We have another Formula Synchron. That's probably the best one, I would say. Maybe the Power Tool is pretty good. And then we got this orange die. It's the first time we got this one. That one looks really awesome. I really like that one. Okay, last like eight or so packs. Let's see if we can get a new DT card, maybe a Stratos that we can actually see. That would be pretty cool. We've got the Gator, we got the Iceberg, we got the Dragoonity, the Origin, the Barrier, the Goyo, the Strategist, the Mist Valley Apex Avian, Naturia Barkeon already has a Ghost Rare, so who cares? We got the Phalanx, and the th these last ones you can't see. It's the fourth one, it's like it doesn't show as well. Maybe it's the, no, it's the second and the fourth one. Look, the first and third one you can see, the last, what in the world? This is weird. Wait, Shining Flare Wingman can be one? Okay, and that's interesting. Man, this is a strange set, guys. I, this is just a weird set. I really want to know what you guys think about this down in the comments. We have an Ice Barrier, Berserker Crush, Flamvel Baby. If you guys are interested in the cards, of course, you guys can win them. Stratos, very nice card. Shaman, Leary, Cyber Dragon again. We'll take that. And you want it to be in the... Oh, Flame Wingman's in here. Dragoonity Phalanx and Enemy Controller. Ah, that's a pretty cool pack. I like that one. Very Okay, looks like the DT rate is a little better on these. You can kind of see all of them. Seems like it's just a little inconsistent about which ones actually get, you know, super stamped with it. All right, Cyber Dragon and Flame Wingman. Both very cool cards. I'm a big fan of both of those. That's pretty awesome. We've got that. We've got Shaman, Pineapple. we got the Ally of Justice, the Wabaku. Wabaku would be cool in DT Rarity. Apparently, Skill Drain's in here, I heard. But we haven't seen that. Oh, Red Eyes. we got the alternate, red, more red version of Red Eyes. Oh, Speak of the Devil! That's actually a big one, because I bet that card's probably the money card of the set, Brionic and Buster Blader. That's a pretty big one, actually. Okay, that's a nice reprint. That's actually a card that people are using. I don't know if any other card we've pulled is something people are using. Yeah, let me know. Is there any competitive cards in this entire set? This I, I chopped this open or something. What happened here? I don't know how this happened. Or it just came like that. One of the two. I don't know how I would have chopped it, because I chopped it on the top. And there's no way it was up there. Fabled. Ally. Ally, Shock Troops, the Shock Trooper, we got the Dryden, the Dragonfly, the Churia Butterfly, the Mistworm, here's one, here's one that I needed, yeah, you guys remember I got a bent up Mistworm, the Churia Barkeon, Phalanx, and Psycho Reader, at least this one's used in like Edison, I guess, I don't really know that anybody's using, um, you know, Dragoonities or anything like that, okay, on to the next one, so we've pulled, we've pulled, I feel like we've pulled like most of the set at this point, but I really haven't looked at the set, so I don't know. Quarantine. We got the Thunderbird. So Thunderbird there is normal. Yeah, so it looks like they can all be commons too. Medium. Which is always kind of a weird way to do a set when every card... Oh, Card Trooper. That's cool for like Edison and stuff. Cherries. We haven't pulled that before. And they're sticking together. That's probably why nothing is sticking. And a Flame Veil Saber or Sabre. No, I'm just kidding. It's not Sabre. Dunder Mifflin is a part of Sabre. Three more packs of this... Can I call this epic video? Um, that's a great question. That's a great question, Javelin. What do you guys think? You guys think this was epic? Uh, do you think this is an epic set? Are you guys going to go out and spend a bunch of money on it? Let me know. Cyber Dragon again. Okay, so we've got a play set of those for you guys. That's cool. The Gungnir, that's a very cool one. Dark Paladin, that's another play set. And they stick together. What in the world? The last one. Leo Drake. Okay, so the Naturias are getting... You can't even see that one at all. Okay, weird. Oh, Metal Dragon. Good one. We didn't get that as DT. That would be a nice one to get in the last two. Let's see if we can do it. Also, four DT rarity seems like a lot to me in one pack, you know? I guess it is like a huge pack or whatever, but it still seems like a lot. The Pegasus. It's definitely definitely cooler than the, the colored names, though. The colored names was pretty bad. I was not a big fan of that. Uh, it at least tried something different, though, which is cool. Naturia Barkeon. Naturia Bamboo Shoots. And the Dirge. The Dirge Man himself. Wait, wait. We just got five. We just got five. Wait. There's some on this one, too. There's six different cards with it on there. Look at this. So this, 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 and then these two. These two have, like, the weird barely on there. Am I crazy? That's six cards. There's only two. Yeah. What in the world? We got six, seven. Wait. Does this one have any on it? This one? Seven of the cards have DT rarity. What is going on? I don't know what is going on. Like... At what point can you say it has DT rarity? Like, if you can barely see it, does that count as DT rarity? <laughs> like, if you sold it on TCG Player and somebody bought that, they'd probably be like, bro, I can't even, like, see this. So, I don't know what to think. This is, like, the classic Konami, like, issues with printing. Except for, like, now you're getting more cards that have DT rarity. Weird. Another Book of Moon. Okay. 
Naturior Exterior. That's the first time seeing that. The Gonganir. And the Ally of Justice. See, after this, they're normal. Normally, that one we had a ton of... We had seven. This is a weird opening. All right, I want to hear what you guys think in the comments. For me, this set is probably one of the worst sets I've opened in quite a while. Fortunately, they did throw in a few cool cards like Skill Drain and, of course, those nostalgic DM cards, which I always like, but I know a lot of people do not care about. Kind of a dud set, I think, overall. Let me know what you guys think in the comments if I'm wrong about it. And don't forget to enter the giveaway if you do want the dice, the promos, and all of the DT Rarity cards and stuff like that. Just enter the giveaway by liking the video, being subscribed, and let me know what you think down below. Shout out to TCG, Trusted Cards, Stoneflow Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Daxter, Ian Musa Jr. Barding, Anunatai Show, and JT Cho. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.